My name is Josh Green. I'm from Pensacola, Florida. And I went to school at the University of West Florida. And now I've been continuing my studies in Florence, Italy, where I study classical techniques. Florence is, uh, is a very magical place. And by coming back here doing this art residency, I wanted to share what I've learned about craft and about technique and also my own views on art. There's certain things that interest me, there's certain things that, that I'm drawn to. And I think by taking on everyday subject matters, where it's something ordinary, going deep into them and studying the light, the fall of light on an object and the mystery of a shadow, I think, I think there's a depth to that. I, I used to go out into the nature trail when I was a student here, and it was a very meditative and calming experience to be out there. I chose the pond because there's something magical about these lights coming through the, through the trees, these fleeting moments. You can see the lily pads on the surface, but you can see all their stems are coming back down to this common root that you can't see. I think that viewing art is something spontaneous. So your mindset, your life, what you bring, and when you look at that art, you see it in a completely different way than what I see. But maybe you get a sense of something else is in there than just a painting of a pond. You know, maybe there's something more subtle there that you can connect with. Doing this residency was just it's, it's kind of another challenge on myself to simplify all this knowledge so that I can teach someone in three hours what I've been learning over two years. So today, we're doing the torso. So this is the trunk of the body. I think it's where you have to begin. So many people are interested in figurative art, but they don't want to study anatomy. They don't want to put in the time, or maybe anatomy is too intimidating, all the, the scientific names and things like that. Those teardrops almost touch the iliac crest. Their tendon attaches here. But if, if you're drawing a figure, you're drawing anatomy. The widest point there, that's, that's the eighth rib. And your knowledge of the anatomy is expressed in your drawing. It's looking pretty good, Kenny. Everyone knows what a face looks like. Everyone knows what the human body looks like. They see their body every day. You know, a tree, you can change the branches around or make the trunk bigger, wider, and no one will know the difference. But with a human, even just down to millimeters, people can tell that something's off. Even the untrained eye can tell that. The better you know that anatomy, the more freedom you have. You're not limited to life or a photograph. When, you, when you're searching for your voice, you go in different directions. Your true voice is something very intuitive that you can only find after you've spent a long time doing what you do. Painting the same person for a month in one pose, there's a huge range of movement that's happening. And as you sit there and you're just watching, you start composing, you stop being so reliant on the object, on the person, on life, and you start going into yourself and making these decisions of, about the light you want, the pose you want. And I think those, those decisions reflect yourself. Those, that, those decisions are your voice, and it comes from a very unconscious, intuitive place.